Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. As the drought has worsened, water usage in California jumped nearly 19% in March. Governor Newsom asked Californians last year to use 15% less water, but the state has cut back less than 4% since July. The Senate showdown over abortion is set for tomorrow. Democrats want a vote to codify Roe versus Wade into law, but they don't have the votes to block a filibuster, meaning it will most likely fail. Democratic Assembly member Mia Bonta disclosed today that she had an abortion as a 21-year-old. Bonta, also the wife of State Attorney General Rob Bonta, says the decision kept her from getting caught in her family's cycle of poverty. She's one of a growing number of prominent women to disclose their abortion since the Supreme Court draft opinion was leaked, showing that Roe v. Wade is likely to be struck down. Finland and Sweden are expected to decide this week if they will apply for membership to NATO. Both began considering the move after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The TSA is expecting the biggest summer travel crowd since 2019, and they have a plan to deal with them. The agency said today it plans to move screeners from slower airports to busier ones. The TSA has quadrupled the number of employees who can fill in at other airports when lines get too long. The San Mateo County DA will not file criminal charges against Mike Tyson for punching an airline passenger last month. It happened on a San Francisco flight to Florida. The DA cited the circumstances surrounding the confrontation. Celebrity chef Mario Batali was acquitted today of sexual misconduct. The woman accused Batali of forcibly kissing and groping her while taking a selfie at a restaurant in 2017. The former Food Network star's career crumbled amid sexual misconduct allegations from four women in 2017. Elon Musk says if and when he takes over ownership of Twitter, former President Donald Trump's ban will end. Musk called the ban sparked by the January 6th insurrection a quote, morally bad decision and foolish in the extreme. After initially retiring, Tom Brady is coming back for another NFL season. But when he finally does retire, he has another job lined up as the lead NFL analyst for Fox. ESPN reports his deal is for 10 years, $375 million. A scuba dive team says it's collected 25,000 pounds of trash from the bottom of Lake Tahoe since last May. 136 trained volunteers took 81 dive days to make it around all 72 miles of Lake Tahoe's shoreline. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.